All right, all right, all right. Happy New Year, everybody. All right, lots of rankings on the horizon, but for now, we finally can talk about Blackfield. After three years, we finally have a brand new LP with For The Music. Yeah, it barely counts as a full length because it's a total of 18 seconds over a half hour. But in any case, we gotta look back on all the records and see which one stands above the rest. So without further ado, let's get started. The former shortest album, 4 is a pretty mediocre release. Pills is really the only song that stands out to me. Uh, I mean, Lost Souls has its moments too, but overall, honestly, not much else worth noting on this one. Alright, yeah, I know a lot of you guys just love the first two Blackfield albums, you know, the Steven Led ones, but with two, again, it's not that memorable, but this one has Epidemic, which is perhaps up there with my top favorite Blackfield songs, uh, mostly because that little piano piece that they keep doing, I, I just think that's a really, I don't know, I'm not musically inclined enough to like tell you exactly why that sounds good but you know what i'm talking about if you know the song but also and i'll discuss this more in a bit but i really prefer when steven and aviv share vocal duties instead of just having this is aviv songs these are the steven songs you know it's supposed to be a collaborative effort and when they actually collaborate it's much better other than that where is my love is another great track but that's also on the first album and I also really like The End of the World, but unfortunately, that's a cover, so I can't really count it towards this one, and other than those three tracks, you know, not much else is on there for me. Okay, so the brand new one comes in at number four. My track standouts are the opening title track, Garden of Sin, and I absolutely love Under My Skin. And I always hate when a single, one of the singles is my favorite track off the album. But, you know, sometimes it'd be like that and it's a really good song. Okay, and as I just mentioned earlier, with the Steven and Aviv sharing vocal duties. This album doesn't have any of that. You know, in fact, there's three Steven-led songs and they're all packed together in the middle of the album. And that's... That really bugs me because it's like, here's the Aviv songs, then you have a Steven block, and then it ends with Aviv again. I think it's just the way they uh, ordered the tracks, like if it was more spread out, but it's just really weird. Because it's like, it's like two albums, you know? Like, here's his stuff, here's his stuff, and they just kind of push them together. And because of that, it doesn't really feel like a collaborative effort. It's just like an Aviv solo album with just featuring Steven, with he has a block in there. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Blackfield is very much Aviv's band now, and I, for one, have grown to very much like his style. I feel like most people, myself included, started listening to Blackfield because they knew of Steven Wilson, but I thoroughly enjoy what Aviv does. So, that's my little mini-review of For The Music. It's fine. Middle tier Blackfield, but it's alright. You know, not every new album always has to be at the top. And coming in at number three is the debut album. Again, I know you guys love these albums. And don't get me wrong, I like them too. Uh, I like the tracks, you know, Open Mind, Lullaby, Cloudy Now, and the title track, Blackfield. Maybe it's just because I'm going, I, I went through them all in a row. Uh, but a lot of the songs, I just I just can't even tell them apart anymore. Like, they have such similar vibes. I feel like most of the fan base is either going to have this at, like, one or two. But, personally, I'm trying to rank them as, like, a whole package. Instead of just how many, you know, songs stand out to me. So, this one is about half and half to me. Welcome to My DNA is one that I enjoyed way more than I remembered I did. 
I always thought it was fine, but when I went through it again, I was like, damn, this is actually a pretty solid album. I think it's overall really good. You know, Oxygen is a great song. Blood I like. It kind of has like uh, an Orphan Land vibe to it. Uh, and of course, my favorite Blackfield song ever, Go to Hell. Three simple lines that I just want to send so many people this song. Fuck you all, I don't care, go to hell. Blackfield 5. Just like Welcome to My DNA, I think 5 is the most consistently good release the band has. And most of the songs that stand out to me are Life is an Ocean, Family Man, Lately, Lonely So, and We'll Never Be Apart. This is the only one that truly feels like a collaborative effort from both of them, so it's like the best of both worlds. You know, you got Steven, Aviv, put them together, and you have a damn good album with Blackfield 5. Alright, so that concludes our Blackfield list. Be sure to let me know what you guys think. What are your favorites? What do you think of the new one? And... So, we have about another month before Steven's new solo album drops, even though he's kind of released like 60% of it online already. But in the meantime, I think it's time we get to some instrumental music. What do you guys think? Hmm. Yeah, instrumental music, because I'm in the mood for it. Now, how about a band where some of the members in it have played on Steven's solo albums? Yeah, you know the band. I'll see you in that video. So for now, take care everyone.